All right, so howdy folks, welcome to Serials 2022. Of course, Fast Track caught me on straight away, and this is a local one to us. Um, Needham Chalks. So this is the quick itch he's got. And as you can see, you've got the PTO and all the hydraulic connections stay with that black bit there. And then the, the orange bit is the trailer side. And the, gr the black and the orange bit split. So that's where all your connections are done automatically there. And you've got the big foot at the bottom to take the weight of the spreader. So it's been about seven years, I think, since I've been to Serials. This is the one local to us at Duxford. And uh, yeah, we've only, we've only just sort of been here 10 minutes or so. But uh, things with, appears to be plenty of kit here. Nice Joskin tank for it. That'll go well on the back of the fast track, I reckon, won't it? Trailing shoe on it. Big pump, that is a big pump on it, you know? Yeah, you got auto fill arm on it. Oh, that's a nice tank of 20,000 litres. That is smart. Oliver's do these as well, Joskin. All in galvanised. A rear steer axle, that's what that is. Yeah, that's a nice bit of kit, isn't it? This is definitely the way to go anyway, trading shield or dribble bar. But, uh, you know, tandem axle, commercial axles. Good on the road then as well, isn't it? On the subject of tankers, we're right at the top end now. Basically an Arctic sized tanker there, 28,000 litres. Joskin. With a 410R series on the front. Central tyre inflation on it. You certainly need some horsepower on the front. Injector on the back. Yeah, that is a smart bit of kit. I mean, look at the state of that John Deere on the front. That is nice, isn't it? I really do like style on these new ones. That is. So here in the Sagenta Arena, we now see the R4150i from John Deere. He's doing the work for me. And using John Deere's sprayer expertise, the Five thousand litre R forty one fifty. Got a Bateman there. Sure, mate. R forty one forty. And we got the night there. A what the hell's that thing? Let's have a little closer look. See what that is. Grimpure. Never heard of them. Thought it was an amplifier for a start, but you've got the sands behind that. So we're on the John Deere stand, they've got their Kramer telehandlers here. This is one of these four wheel steer, but in a front loader, um, telescopic spec, if that makes any sense. Let's have a sit in here. Nice oh, wide cab, nice big cab actually. Good visibility down to the bucket there. Yeah, you've got the benefits of um, sort of a front loader, but you've got, a lot of people don't like the Arctic steer because they can be awkward to, um, not control, but to control precisely when you're up against the side of a wall and that, they can be counterintuitive unless you're used to the Arctic steer. Whereas this, it behaves exactly like a telehandler because it's four wheel steer. So, um, yeah, interesting machine. It's quite nicely laid out. Nice, um, nice couple joystick there. It's all there, but never, never had nothing to do with Kramer, but you know, it seems that's obviously an inching pedal down there. You got your travel pedal there, a lot. But, uh, yeah, it seems a nice machine, to be fair. Now this thing's interesting, it's a Zern Top Cut and I've seen a video recently on I think it's Facebook and um, 
it looks like a bit of a abortionate um, header. But uh, what it is, is for cutting black grass. Can't really see because it's folded up, but <clears throat> you essentially got a header reel there that folds down, and then um, your black grass tends to stand just a bit above your wheat like so what that does is it cuts just above the ears of the wheat collects the cuts the heads off the black grass collects it and then it goes up the conveyor into the hopper at the back i mean god knows how much it costs but um yeah it's, it's a non-chemical alternative to sort of keeping on top of black grass very interesting very interesting yeah cool well called the weed harvester Oh, now look at this, boys. That's the first time I've seen central tyre inflation on a 4220. <laughs> look at that tyre. They actually had big two Michelin. Obviously, you can run at that load pressure on it. This obviously has got extra tanks on the front to help. Um, so we can change you know, the tyre pressures. Yeah, we can pump back up quick, like. But uh, just look at that. You say that was flat, but, you know, they can run at these sort of um pressures with that much sword wall flex and give us hell of a you know footprint on the ground what it's a nice front box isn't it, it really is yeah you know me i love a nice voucher how nice does that look new all only got the methane tractor here Got uh, is that no? Is it a sky drill on the back? Not sure. Don't sound any different to a standard diesel engine, does it? But that is the methane tractor. It's a horizon. It's a direct drill lock. Fair bit of kit. some of the trial plots we've got some of that x days barley over there <coughs> we've also got a fair stand here plenty of gear here actually 1000 litre per minute spray pump uses direct rate control to provide 98% application action. Automated agitation and multi fluid cycle system with push button control. A big old set of rolls here from Cousins, good old British uh, manufacturer. That's the it's like the size of the rolls we've got. Eight, we've got a set of eight metres, yeah, 8.3. Um, we haven't got the club buses on the front, but yeah, I always rated cousin stuff. Yeah, we had a V form at Henry, that was a good bit of kit. Got a little compact disc uh, machine there. Yeah, good stuff, cousins, real good stuff. John Deere. He's a bit noisy, this chap, isn't he? Um, Amazon got a little stand here, got a couple of their sprayers at the back and uh, bloody loads of gear here lot actually. In addition to individual nozzle control, manual or auto switching between two nozzles. One of their plows there. Yeah, they've got some gear here. They've even got one of their big condors. Was that 12 metres, I think? Yeah, 12, 12 metres. There is one of these on the demo plot with an 8330 fast truck on the front, but apart from the main spraying arena here, I haven't seen any of the other demo plots, you know, the drill plots or the cultivation plots. I haven't seen any of them others working. Maybe later in the video, when I get round them again, we'll uh, see a bit more action. Size Here comes McCormick. The R4140i <coughs> and the r 41 Looking very good in their sort of um, special edition liveries. 
these are the new um, these are the new tractors P6 drive they are at the cutting edge of smart like I said before, they're a smart machine. Look at I me, mean, look at that back end. That's well laid out. Spools are all easy to get to. It's just nice, compact, well laid out. Mechanical cab suspension on it. Maybe your air's a bit of a stretch up there, but I'll let them off that off. Well, do you? Know, I do right. I'm gonna have to get one on demo, see what they're like. X6415. Wow, to be fair. What a big cab. It's a massive cab. Nice area. You've got your nice screen there. Lot. Like I said, oh, cool. we looked at these back at the Midland Machinery Show many years ago. And I really like, we went through the screen then on it, and it was a really well laid out screen. Got your joystick control there. Um, this is, I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing it's a, a CVT transmission. You've got a, um, not label, but you've got two throttles there. So whether one of them is a travel speed. But, um, but oh yeah, I like it. I mean, it's nicely laid out. You've got a cup holder back there. You've got a fridge there for a bottle. Yeah, you've got a sunroof back there, look. It's a big airy, you know, big airy cab. A lot of glass on it. Good visibility down the front. We we'll definitely have to get one of these on demo and have a look, I reckon. And back again via a floor mounted switch. Or, alternatively, it can be integrated with the master spray on off switch. He's pretty good, this narrator, isn't he? Little and large. On the fence, and good showing by Fent. Got 943. Got Sammy there, that's their new sprayer. Infinity. Good old 724. We all like them. Work on all four wheels to provide maximum turn or true tire tracking. Now this clever system can be adopted to suit the work in hand with options including speed regulated and spray on off engagement of the four wheel system. In their new Infinity series, Sands have an all new suspension ensuring comfortable travel. And if you've got a wide range of cropping, you'll appreciate a track width that can be adjusted from 72 to 88 feet. Alright, oh, so there we go. Bit of a disappointment on the demos. Um, I haven't seen a single one going, to be fair. Only the sprays in the main arena. All these drill demos and that been static all day though as far as I've seen which is a shame um, haven't got to see all of the show but seen most of it um, good show real good show but uh, it would have been nice to see some kit working but uh, there you go anyway hope you enjoyed that video I'll see you on the next one ta-ta